Well, here we go again. Fuck. 2021 season of Bull Hunter 24 7 is underway. Colin struggling with his water. And I are in the middle of South Dakota. Headed west to chase antelope again. And we're, we had to pull over because we were both really tired. Driving straight through the night after work from Wisconsin. We pulled over. We're going to take a nap for about two minutes. We tried doing that. And then we saw the 24-7 gas station. And we said, let's go get some energy drinks. And let's get this done. We got four hours left to drive. Sun's going to be up in two. That helps a lot. Pro tip. But yeah. All you can do now is put the key in the ignition and go. So let's do it. Good morning guys, it's day two here in South Dakota. If you can imagine setting up and sleeping in a tent in these winds. About one hour into our sleep, the tent went down. Continued to sleep in the tent, even with it down. And then it started to thunderstorm out of nowhere. And now the wind never died down, so we have good stalking conditions at least. So let's get it done this morning. Pretty nice one.
that's about as good as it gets for this stuff. They're inside of 90 the last time I ranged her and they got a little bit closer than that. But we finally got a stock opportunity with the right topography. The wind was perfect and we even had some pretty tall sagebrush compared to most spots we go. Just worked out perfect. They, I didn't even expect them to come right up here. I was going to try to sneak and get them down in that draw, but had all the right cover, just not enough to get my bow drawn on them. So, on to the next one. Colin's turn now. I'll give this interview since Colin doesn't want to talk before his big stock. We've been driving this stuff, seeing like no antelope but hoping to find some in one of these fields with all the round bales that we could use for cover. We finally did, it's super windy, they're bedded. It's looking pretty good. All right, here's the deal. We're belly crawling in. We got some farm equipment in the field that was round baled in between us and them. But we're in like 12 inches of grass right now and that grass runs out about 30, 40 yards before the farm equipment it gets to where they chopped it. So it's real short. So I'm gonna stay in the tall grass because I don't want to mess this up for Colin, but he's gonna have to get to that farm equipment. We'll see what happens. Running as an antelope drive for Colin. Clean mess, I already knew that because I pulled really bad on the shot. Um, it was windy and I don't know what I was thinking. 80 yards, that's as close as we've gotten so far this trip. Had pretty good cover up by that rock. Can't really ask for much more. I'm sorry Colin because I dragged you up here two miles of straight incline. We spotted him off the highway down there and had to park way far away so he didn't see us coming in. and. I guess we're just going to have to try to get closer on the windy days like this because, yeah, I probably shouldn't have even taken that shot. But. God. All right, 
day five. The trend continues. We're getting closer every day. We're feeling good about it. Colin told me there was no chance out here for rain. Rain last night after our tent fell down, so water got everywhere. Now it's raining again this morning. There's no chance for rain, he says. But that's all right. It'll make for good stocking conditions, and we're gonna get after him today. Let's do it. kind of just our luck we're still getting closer every day because that time I was like 60 and under on all of those before they knew I was there but then right before I crested the hill a jackrabbit goes from under a bush right in front of me jackrabbit takes off running and then they all get up because they see him they get up and then there I am stuck nothing I can Six. The Honda Odyssey here has this protective sleeve to protect, protect up under here. It's just plastic and it's held together by a plastic pin. When you bottom it out enough on gravel roads, it has a tendency to break the pins and fall off. So we got some zip ties. We're parked on a little hill here. And we're gonna get her done. Well, we might be able to reach that one from over here.
just one bucket, one dull, so not too many eyeballs. <laughs> See what happens.
it's official. We are leaving South Dakota for the second year in a row. Empty handed. Can't really see that. Big brownie face. Not really, it was a lot of fun. We had so many close stalks this year. Last year we never got inside of like 80 and this year we were inside of 60. I don't know how many times and it was on big bucks just about every time. So there's a good chance we'll be back, but that's it. It was a good kickoff to the 21 season. We're gonna keep it rolling with whitetails. It's a clean mess, even though we already knew it was. Man, we worked so hard for that one. Spotted him off the road. Dragged Colin up here in a fucking. Oh, we're gonna restart because I swore. <laughs>